and welcome to our live coverage of Ben vs Leonard 2. The first fight, if you remember, ended a draw some some two or three months ago. Now we're back here in the Barclays Center in New York to find out who will win that vacant WBC Super Middleweight Championship. Will it be Nigel Ben or will it be Sugar Ray Leonard? We're going live now to the Barclays, Arena, Barclays Center there in uh, New York. It's a great atmosphere. There's the rules. Three knockdown rule is in effect and cannot be saved by the bell. And only the referee can stop the fight. So there we are. Let's get over to ringside in New York and join our commentator there, live and exclusive on JB Sports. A very good evening to Johnny Guthridge. Johnny, it's all yours. Thank you very much, JB. Welcome along to the Barclays Arena here in New York so pull up a ringside seat back in the UK with us on JB Sports because here comes the Dark Destroyer Nigel Ben away from home done it before against the likes of Doug DeWitt and uh, Iran Barkley before that so he knows what it's all about there's Sh uh, Sugar Ray Leonard back on home territory only the one only the three losses but the one draw as well but uh, certainly a very Certainly fought back well that knockdown if you may remember in that first fight between these two back in Manchester a few months ago. There's Jim and Lenin Jr. just going through the final preliminaries here. There's Nigel Ben. And he's brought a good army of supporters over the pond here to New York today. Or tonight rather. Great atmosphere. A wonderful fighter, the Dark Destroyer they call him. And there's Sugar Ray Leonard. And then the Muhammad Ali camp. And John Dundee's long time trainer. Also alongside him. Jimmy Tibbs. Also the corner man for Nigel Ben. So they both try to square up. As we're prepared to get this 12 round under 12 round WBC Super Middleweight World Title underway. They touch gloves and are ready to go for round number one. Scheduled for 12, Ben in the black trunks, Sugar Ray Leonard in the white. Remember three minute rounds on each occasion, so that's just to remind you. Tremendous atmosphere here. And you wonder where the round timer is, we've had a problem with the host broadcaster's uh, graphics. So we're well, having to just sort of guess the time and the bell here, so bear with us. But it's a good opening round, both fighters trading nice, nice punches at the start. Always like to see that in a world title fight. Remember this title is vacant. JB did not tell you that at the start of the program. You didn't want to have much time to fill before handing over to me, if uh, the truth be told. Oh god, right up from Ben. Sugar Ray took that rather well and a little, little nice couple of jabs and an uppercut there thrown in for good measure. Sugar Ray is a good fighter, street fighter, both these fighters know what it's all about. Tell you what, this is in a very good first round. And I think Ben's just shading it for me. I'll be honest with you. Good friends of the round now, potentially here for these two. It's been a great first round this. Countdown on the end of the first. Nice jabs again. Both fighters getting in there, Sugar Ray certainly ending the round in fantastic style. Is it enough to win in the round? I'm not sure, but... We'll see. There goes the bell. I think Ben just nicked that one for me. 10-9 on my scorecard. Sugar Ray gave him as good as he got there. There's Sugar Ray Leonard. What a great fighter he is. Yeah, of course, Andrew Dundee in his corner. And of course, Jimmy Tibbs, the long-time trainer and cornerman. For Nigel Ben. Ben in the red corner, Sugar Ray in the blue corner. So 
And we're all set to go then for round number two in about 18 or 19 seconds from now. There's a, uh, apologies for the lack of any time, round times on the, uh, during the fight because um, our friends in the United States, HBO, our, hub, our, our host broadcaster, have uh, made a mess up with, the, with their graphics. So uh, I guess I say we're having to guess as round number two gets underway. Scheduled for 12. People in America are seeing this on box office television. You're getting to see the fight for well, absolutely nothing here on JB Sports because we've bought all the boxing rights. But of all the big fights that matter. And these two met in Manchester. It was a cagey fight. There was the one knockdown. That was for Sugar Ray Leonard. And that was in the, if you remember, in the late, late in the 11th round. Just to remind you of the rules. There is a three knockdown roll in effect. So if the same boxer goes down three times, it is automatically stopped. And the bell. But this is the difference the bell cannot save them now in any round and only the referee can stop the contest the referee incidentally doesn't score if it goes to 4-12 rounds will he go the 4-12 rounds with these two I'm not quite sure but they certainly were very durable in that first fight if you remember Ben with a good right hook and then Sugar Ray responded with one of his own this is turning into some fight this And you just wonder which one's going to blink first. Ben again with a right hook. Trying to do untold damage to that right Irish Sugar Ray as we come up to the closing stages of the second. Fantastic fight for Deliver developing here now between these two. They certainly gave a good show in Manchester. They certainly give me one in the second fight in New York. This is fantastic. This is amazing. What a fight we're seeing here. And there goes the bell for the end of the second. And they were still fighting after the bell had sounded. Quite remarkable. So the bell sounds for the end of the second. It's, uh, it's going to be quite the recovery now. I'm just having a look. There's a little bit of swelling on that left eye there. I can notice there of uh, Sugar Ray. No damage at all or no marks for Nigel Ben thus far. But as I said, it's still a long way to go. Of course, we've got 12 rounds of this potentially to go. We've had two. There's another 10 left. Potentially. As I said, the three knockdown roll is in effect. So as I say, the same boxer goes down three times in succession. The fight is automatically stopped. I think I'm not a fan of the rule, but that's just how... The World Championships are proceeded to do so as we now come out for the third round. Of course, Barry Wigan will be alongside me doing the unofficial scorecards. You'll see that at the start of round four after the after our first commercial break, which will come up at the end of round three. So round in. Here goes Nigel Ben. Looking to finish it once and for all in the third. Remember, we've got three judges ringside. The referee does not score. Now then, Ben starting his third round really, really well. The British carrying the fight to his more illustrious American challenger. Or to his more illustrious American opponent. Sugar Ray with only the one defeat. Ben has had a couple in his career. But the Dark Destroyer always likes to give value for money whenever he can. So too does Sugar Ray, by the way. And as I said, in that first fight in Manchester, they gave a real good account of themselves. And it was inevitable after a draw that they had to do it again. What a good fight. I think this is as good as battle as the one in, the, in Manchester between these two. I really do think that. But Ben, for me, Shane in the first two rounds. Oh, I missed the right hook there by... Sugar Ray but he got him on the second time of asking now then if the cameraman will get out of the way so we could just see the fight that would be a that would be a blessing now then we've got a good fight developing here 
it's all tensing up to be a thrilling battle between these two I don't think there's much doubt about that Ben again with the right left hook and now the right hook from Sugar Ray Leonard we're going into the closing stages of the third who's the first to blink here good body shot from Sugar Ray Leonard oh and Leonard has got him Leonard has got him on the canvas Leonard now and Ben's trying to hold on as the bell sounds for the end of the third Welcome back to the big fight. Look at that scorecard there. Ben free ahead. But he was in trouble at the end of the third. 30-27. So, three points ahead. But that means nothing. Sugar Ray Lennon had been in trouble towards the end of the third. So, we're into round four then of a possible 12-rounder. But a WBC Super Middleweight Championship. And it's a vacant Super Middleweight World Championship they're fighting for here. And Sugar Ray Leonard just on the on the ropes there. Ben trying to cut the ring down as much as he can here for Sugar Ray at the start of the fourth. we live from New York. Ben versus Leonard 2. The first fight, remember, ended a draw. And so Jimmy Tibbs has done a very good job in Ben's corner, that's all I can say. But Ray Leonard is fighting back. This is going to be a close run thing this fourth round, I'll tell you this. Both punches, both, both punches trading punches at uh, every conceivable opportunity here. And this is uh, turning into a real classic. It's a running battle there, this this is for sure, there's no doubt about this. Fantastic fight we've got ourselves here. So it's all going to go down to the judges if it goes to 12 rounds. Remember the referee doesn't score as we come up to the end of the fourth. Count down to the end of the fourth then. And it's coming in right well and again the training, the training punches at the belt sounds for the end of the fourth. Well, that was a super round again. And to be perfectly honest with you, that's a tough one to call whether Ben nicked it or whether Sugar Ray punched it. But uh, nevertheless, one of the two certainly took it. So it's, uh, it's uh, certainly down to however you interpret the thing. For my money, it was a very close run thing. But... It's all on what the actual judges down at ringside. As I say, the referee doesn't score. He can only stop the fight during the fight. It's the only decision he can make if a boxer isn't... Say if a boxer's been knocked out or he's groggy or whatever, then that's the only time he can stop it. And he can stop it at any time during the fight. Remember the boxer's the same boxer. If, you haven't, uh, if you've just joined us, remember the rules as we go into round five now. If the, any of the boxers go down once, one of the boxers goes down three times in succession, the fight is automatically stopped. And the bell does not say them if they're knocked out. So, there are the simple rules that you guys need to know about this world title fight. Remember, this is a vacant title that fights you boys, the WBC Super Middleweight. And again, they're both trading. Ben trying to right hook, then. Leonard comes back on his own. A good body, good face shot there from Nigel Ben. 
It's so hard. These two going at a ferocious pace. It's unbelievable. And what I mean ferocious, I mean ferocious. The crowd really getting on this. That's quite a lot of Nigel Ben supporters who have travelled over the water to be here in New York tonight. It's been a battle. It's been a battle royale. There's no doubt about it. It's been a terrific fight thus far. Sugar Ray really packing the punches in now. As he ought to at this stage. It's been a super contest. And who's going to bring first? This is boxing at its rawest and at its very, very best. And one cannot argue with this. If you paid, what, nearly $500 for a ringside seat, you are not... I repeat, not going to be far from disappointed. Maybe some rings are six cost anything up to a thousand dollars. But you're not going to be. You're not going to suffer from Macaroni to terminus. The bell sounds for the end of the fifth. Again, a good trading round. And again, that's hard to say who got that. The swelling on both uh, both uh, fighters' left eyes now. Bit of swelling on Nigel Ben's left eye, and there's certainly a bit of swelling on Sugar Ray's left eye. Now it's up to the respective cornermen, Angelo Dundee and Jimmy Tibbs to get all this sorted out. And then we go again for round number six. Remember, it's, a best, it's, it's out of 12 rounds. So we're going to be halfway through come the end of the six. This has been some battle, this. You mark my words. Round six, scheduled for 12. And these two have really put up a good battle. I would say that then my sources are that Ben has taken the last two rounds as well. So he's five rounds up on uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. But what Ben shouldn't do, if that is the case, that he's five rounds up, he cannot get complacent. He has to go all out and try and win as many rounds as he can. Because if this goes 12 rounds, that is going to make all the difference if he can't knock Sugar Ray out. And he has. He's quite great at Sugar Ray. We've seen that over the years. I don't recall him being knocked to the gambus. Maybe once, maybe twice, and maybe in his earlier days. But if there's anyone in it can knock him out, it is Nigel Ben. But the pub trouble is now, if he, if he keeps going the way he is now, is he going to tire himself out? Is he going to run out of stamina and steam? That's the only question mark I've got against Ben here at this stage. We're halfway through the sixth round now. And it's now going to be... I think when you get past round six into round seven and eight, it then becomes more of an endurance battle. Because these two can't surely keep this up for 12 rounds. If they did, they'd be totally human. One or two wild punches being thrown by both boxers now. That's a good left up by Ben. We're going to the closing stages of the six. And now Sugar Ray fighting back. Good little right, left up there. One or two good body shots as well from Sugar Ray as we come up to the countdown for the end of the sixth round. And both fighters training hard towards the end of it. But Ben is holding on. But surely Sugar Ray has won this one.
every year. The world's favorite airline brings 24 million people together. So here we go, round number seven, Ben leading now by four, he's taking the first six rounds, 10-9 in each of them, but now Ben has been rushed to his feet here, and Leonard is going to knock him down, he's knocked him over, he's left a fight changer, Sugar Ray Leonard with a right hook, that really caught Ben on the side of the face, it's that carelessness from Nigel Ben I wonder, now he's going to get up, can he? The count is on. He's up in five. He checks with the referee. And will box on. So Ben has been down once. And now fight on. But is that the changing? Is that the crest of a wave? Now changing in Sugar Ray's favour. What a battle this is turning out to be in round number seven. We are just saying how well Ben was doing when in the first six rounds and then Sugar Ray from nowhere has pulled out a punch in a million. It was an absolute peach. Now what has Ben got left now? He's got to at least survive the storm. Sugar Ray let it as all of a sudden got his tail right up. But for the first six rounds, you could say he was had his tail between his legs and be, was being obviously outclassed. Is that the moment that changes the course of this fight? That would have been, if it had been counted out there, Ben, it would have been one of the biggest turn ups in boxing history. But it still is on the knife edge, this fight. It's still anyone's for the taking. It's still anyone's to be won or lost. They both pause for a second. Ben has to got to just take himself now away and just say, right, I'll write this round off and just try and see if I can carry on again in the seventh, uh, in the eighth, baby. But that is a fight changer. There's no doubt about that. Here in New York, as the, way, as the bell sounds for the end of the seventh, and that is certainly, in my opinion, Sugar Ray Leonard's round. Well, get your breath back after this, folks. That was one of the most amazing rounds of boxing we've seen on JB Sports ever since we started showing boxing. And now as we go into round number eight, of a possible 12, remember, in the WDC Super Middleweight Championship. And have we seen the fight changer in the previous round? Remember the start of the previous round, what a, what a punch that was by Sugar Ray Leonard. He never knows Sugar Ray when he's beaten. That's the thing, he's a, he's a very capable fighter and again a nice little overhang shot which caught Ben plumb on the nerves. Is it turning to Sugar Ray's is it turning Sugar Ray's way, I wonder? A couple of nice body shots again, trading with each other here, punch for punch, these two. I don't think there's any doubt about this. Oh my word, what a good punch that was. Well, the battle is on. Oh! he's caught him with a body shot there I think that might be an illegal blow that caught Ben, oh, that caught ben really low down he'll take account obviously that this is not looking good for Nigel Ben I have to say that looks a pretty low blow but the referee allowing it that might have been controversial if it had been counted out there but he took one right in the lower chest region 
I'm not sure he's going to be knocked any points for that. I think that counts as a knockdown potentially. But anyway, so Penn has got to find, find a way back from two knockdowns and just survive the end of the eighth. How he's going to do it, I don't know. That's for him and his cornerman Jimmy Tibbs to sort out. They've got over the plans and the tactics before the start of the fight. My word, he caught me with a low ball there. But this is a fantastic fight and Sugar Ray Leonard, you'd have to say at this stage as the ball sounds for the end of the eighth, he's in the ascendancy. This is unbelievable stuff. Nigel Ben doesn't look too marky back. It's Sugar Ray's face that looks smart, but Nigel Ben's pride has been dented by the last two rounds. There's no doubt about that. But Jimmy Dibbs is doing a magnificent job in the court in the red corner there of Nigel Ben to try and patch him up and get him out there the best that he can they've often said about Ben's durability that it's always been like according to question well it's been called into question now by a lot of people ringside here can he hang on for the 12 rounds and try and see this out he has to try and win at least another round at least to just keep him at arm's length with Sugar Ray we're now going to the ninth round. And who knows what might happen. Round nine! Schedule for 12. For the WBC Super Middleweight Championship of the World. Nigel Benn in the black trunks. Sugar Ray Leonard in the white and red trunks. And what a magnificent battle that these two fantastic middleweight, super middleweight boxers have put on for us here in New York tonight. It has been fantastic. The Big Apple has staged a very, very big fight. And a super one at that. Now can Nigel Ben just try and win another round from now to the end. If it goes to 12. And see a fight victory despite being on the canvas twice. It is Sugar Ray now who's taking the fight, but oh, Ben came back with a nice little left hook into the face of Sugar Ray Leonard. Might have marked him a little bit as well. This is fantastic. This is fantastic stuff that we're watching here now, folks, at home. Oh, you're excited. Oh, Ben nearly had him. Ben nearly had him. But Sugar Ray calmly has fought back as Nigel Ben tries to take him, but Sugar Ray holds on. Good back to. This is a good. This is a good round for Ben. This is an excellent round for Ben because he nearly had him by the short and curlies there. What a battle this is turning out to be. If you're on the edge of your seat, folks at home, my word, you may need the next sort of 60 seconds after the between the rounds when we put an ad on to go and get something from the refrigerator, get a cold beer or something like that to calm your nerves because this is going to go right to the wire as we come up to the end of the ninth round. What a battle between these two as the bell will sound in just a second. Welcome back to Las Vegas. Ben now narrowly two points ahead on the scorecard, but he's lost the last three. And he has to take care here. That's the unofficial scorecard. But it's up to the three judges that really do count at ringside to sort of determine who might win this fight. 
The referee incidentally doesn't score as we now are about half a minute into round 10. Scheduled for 12. It's probably about the uh, quietest start to the one of the round to any of the rounds that we've uh, seen so far. Good body shot there from Nigel Ben. All he's got to do at least is win one of these rounds, I fancy, and then he will be the WBC World Champion. But never write off Sugar Ray Leonard at your peril. This is going to be something very, very special here at the Barclays Centre in New York. Oh, good overcome. Oh, no, they're benching big trouble. Can Sugar Ray finish him off? Ben went and missed with a couple, but oh, he shook it. He was shook there by Sugar Ray. Good punch there, and the judges will not have no, will not, will not, not, will not have not noticed that. This is a terrific battle, and here goes Sugar Ray. This is fantastic. But then Ben's fighting back. Now training punches now the two of them. This is what we wanted to see. Here and now we're going to the temp. This is absolutely what this is absolutely incredible. Closing stages of the tenth round. The countdown to the end of the tenth. Ben and with a good couple of shots towards the face. There goes the bell. Oh Ben much shaking to his boots there. Absolutely amazing. Jimmy Timms with work to do. Look at the right swelling on Ben's eye now. You can't see him in that. Oh, you can see it now. Bit of a swelling towards the right eye of Sugar Ray's, but. Wow, what a fight. It has been a battle. Are we destined to go all the way here? Well, it has been, as I say, a real battle royale. And there's still plenty of it to still to go yet. As we get set now for the start of round 11. Round 11 then. And we're now into the final 12 rounds. And Sugar Ray now will be thinking now he could pinch this fight. He was trailing for so long after round six on points. It looks as if Ben had it in the bag, but he's just absolutely been careless. He's almost been knocked down a couple of times. He has been knocked down the once and twice, although the second one was a bit of a low body well from Sugar Ray Leonard. It wasn't deducted points for that, incidentally. But ben has got to take care. Again, some good trading going on here. It has been, as I say, a running battle. We've just got to take care and see this out. They've had a, a good battle here today, these two. And uh, whatever happens tonight, it's been the second fight between these two has been very memorable. Come down now to the end of the penultimate round, round number 11. Do you want a more quieter round that we've seen so far? Oh, that's a good punch. A couple of nice punches there from each fighter. Then with a wild one that missed it, that, uh, that missed her, Albert. Oh, good punch there, Bum Ben. Right to the side of Sugar Ray's face. That scored well, I'm sure, with the judges. But is it going to be enough to win the round? As we come up towards the end of the 11th. The countdown is on. And look at this from Sugar Ray. This is brilliant. There goes the bell. And they're just punching a little bit after the bell had gone. So it all comes down to the final round. 12th and final round here in New York at the Barclays Centre. Well, 
Well, it's all now. Then it's now who's got the biggest well. Ben just has to win this fight. He has to go all out. It's the 12th now. It all depends on who's got the best stamina now in this final round. It's all on it. And I think Sugar Ray probably took that round for me, so it's probably. Oh, it's going to be close to whatever happens. Remember, two rounds ago, Sugar Ray was two points down. And if you go a bit further back, he was four points down. He was four rounds down. And he sported his way back up from nowhere. He's had bent down a couple of times. And here we go then. Oh, and the 12th round. The final round. Now then, who's got... The more energy left in the tank. Oh, good punch from Ben. Couple of nice punches. He's put a few combinations together. Sugar Ray stuck them up magnificently. Can Nigel Ben hang on? All he's got to do is take care, win the round, and he'll be world champion. But you never write off Sugar Ray. He's one of the greatest boxers of all time. As I said, at the top of the show, he's like... He's from the Muhammad Ali stable. He's got Angelo Dundee in his corner. This is fantastic. This is amazing. These two have given 15 rounds in here in New York. Fantastic value for money. And for you guys at home watching here in the UK on JB Sports. And you're getting this to absolutely nothing by the way. This has been a remarkable fight. Sugar Ray making sure now that he puts a few punches in but this is going to go down to the three judges stick ring side and if Ben loses he's only himself to blame but oh that's a good right hook there from Sugar Ray Leonard as we come towards the closing stages will someone knock them down in will someone, one, one boxing on the other hand in the final few seconds this is going to be fantastic but the more likely as each second ticks by, it's going to go to the three judges. The referee incidentally doesn't score. If it goes the distance, which it looks as if it's more likely to go to now. What a battle it has been as we come out to the end of the 12. Both fighters are knocking now as the bell sounds. Now who's won it? It's Sugar Ray Leonard! What a comeback from him! He looked down and out after six rounds! But he's took it on points from the three judges! And Nigel Ben, I'm sorry to say, had only himself to blame. The first six rounds, Ben, perfect! And on each judge, Sugar Ray took it by one by 1.114, 113 on every judge's scorecard and Nigel Ben, those last six rounds was just absolutely the, the seventh round is where he lost it 10-8 he lost it otherwise it might have been a number draw and it's Sugar Ray Leonard who takes the WBC Super Middleweight Championship of the World he's back and now what now for Nigel Ben? Back to, your, back to the studio in London. Well, Johnny Gotrich summed it up magnificently. Ben had only himself to blame. He was coasting. He was coasting by six rounds after... He was coasting six rounds, 10-9 every time. Then the seventh piece where he lost it, 10-8. And then the rest, 10 nines. And as a result, on all three judges' scorecards, and it was a unanimous decision... Sugar Ray Leonard took it by one single point. 114 to 113 on all three judges' scorecards. Very, very close, but it's Nigel Benn who's lost it, who's taken, who's got defeat from the jaws of victory. And Sugar Ray Leonard, who looked down and out after six rounds, and we all thought he, it was going to be the end for him. Well, that knockdown soon after the sixth round really decided it all. As far as the fight was concerned. Sugar Ray Leonard, the WBC Super Middleweight Champion of the World. And well done to him. A terrific comeback victory. Well, that's it for now. 
Well, don't forget next week on JB Sports, we've got both FA Cup semi finals. Saturday at 5, next Saturday at 5 30. It's Arsenal against Donington Forest. That should be brilliant. Both from Wembley. And then the next afternoon, a week on Sunday, 4 30, we start the Old Midlands affair between Aston Villa and West Bromwich Albion. This for a place in the FA Cup final at Wembley. It's going to be absolutely superb. And you'll both be able to vote, and you'll be able to see both semi finals, both from Wembley, only on this channel that's coming up our next live boxing will be in a couple of weeks time when we focus when we focus on uh, Joe Carroll's Aggie and George Groves but uh, well there we go fantastic fantastic performance what a big fight we thought the first fight between these two when they drew was, was amazing but the second one surpassed any expectation and it's Sugar Ray who denies Nigel Ben to be champion of the world. For all of us here, good night.